So object-oriented programming is a programming model that is based on the concept of classes and objects, as opposed to procedural programming where the focus is on writing procedures or functions that perform operations on the data. In object-oriented programming, the focus is on the creation of objects which contain both data and functions together. Now, to break this down, in object-oriented programming, the, you don't just write your functions anyhow. You understand? You have to put them inside a class. You get what I'm saying? So, in a class will contain your variables, which is um, sort of referred to as data, and then your functions. You get what I'm saying? So, everything is inside a class. So, and those classes are sort of called objects. Objects are basically instances of that class. Um, one thing you have to understand is that in this course, if you are uh, studying OOP for the first time, I'll be introducing you to many new concepts and words. So, you have to get used to um, hearing new concepts from me, you understand? But one thing you can be sure of is that I'll keep breaking them down as I mention them. So, the main difference, the, the um, opposite or the alternative to OOP, that is object-oriented programming, is procedural programming. Now, in programming, a procedure is um, the same thing uh, with a function. So, the uh, your functions are basically procedures. So, in procedural programming, you just write your function anyhow, anywhere you want. You just put it there, and it works. The way you do in JavaScript, you just wake up one day and put your function anywhere, and it works. But in object-oriented programming, you have to give the functions the respect that they are needed. So if you're writing JavaScript to be object-oriented, you have to put the functions, group them, and put them inside a class. All your variables, you don't just declare variable anyhow, anywhere. Um, you have to also put them inside a class, you understand? So that is just the layman's definition. Uh, the actual details might be a little different, but uh, I hope this definition just gets uh, you to understand what we're talking about, you understand? So every time you see a class, then you're dealing with an OOP language, you understand? So, um, in this course, I'll be making references to Ionic or Angular JS, and I'll be making references to uh, Laravel. The reason I'll be making references to these is in case you already coded any of them, so you understand uh, what is being said. So, I'll just be using them as an example, not that it's a core in this, uh, con in this um, course. So, if you've never used any of those, don't worry. Um, you don't really need it in this course. You get what I'm saying? All right, so let's get to the basics and um, actually start coding OOP. Now, the very first thing we have to do is to download PHP. If you don't already have PHP, you have to um, you have to go to wampserver.com. Now, I shouldn't be teaching you this because this is not a beginner's tutorial. So just go to wampserver.com and download um, the WAMP server. Once you download it, if you come here, you click on English, then you hit on it. Click on download, choose the one for your system, and you're good to go. It will install a WAMP server. Once it installs WAMP server, start it. Go to your um, search menu here, type WAMP server, it will open, and uh, click on it. When it starts running, you won't see anything. The only thing you will see is um, this icon. Now, if you're, if, you're, if you're learning this course, I'm expecting that you've coded PHP in the past. So don't change whatever server you're using. If you're using... Um, um, ZAM server or LAMP server or whatever, don't change it. It works. For me, I'm using a Windows machine for this course. Well, that's, that is why I'm using WAMP server. You understand? WAMP is for Windows. Now, when your WAMP server is running, um, your PHP files can't run any other place in your system except inside your WAMP directory. If you're using a uh, ZAM server, then you have to go to your htdocs directory. So, I'll go to my WAMP www directory and create a um, when the folder opens, I'll, I'll create a folder. So I'll create a folder for this course. I'll call it um, whatever. Um, OOP. OOP Toot. That's what I'm going to call it. So um, create your own folder. Make sure it's inside your server's root directory. In one server, it is the, the root directory is www. Okay, so and take note of where it is located. Usually, if you're on a Windows system, the WAMP server is usually located on this direct on this path, which is C WAMP six four WWOOP. All right, so we're good. So um, what I would do is to create a simple PHP file. 
um, I'll type um, what do we call it? Let's call it index.php and hit enter. Yes. So I'll now open it with my text editor. So any text editor you're using works. For me, uh, for now, I'm using VS Code. And to open it with VS Code, I uh, will just uh, click, right click on this and, and click on it here to open. So if you're using Notepad++ or any of those editors, it will work perfectly for what we're trying to do, all right? I can even use normal Notepad. So our VS Code editor opens, we can now start looking at um, writing OOP code. So I want to see you in the next video where we'll start writing our first OOP code. Thank you very much.